In this Cypress tutorial, we are going to see how to install Cypress Automation Framework or how to set up Cypress Automation Framework in your system. The first step is you need to enter this particular command npm followed by install Cypress space hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev. So by using this command, you can install the Cypress. To open the test runner, you need to enter this particular command. That is a step two. You need to enter npm run cypress colon open so let's install the first cypress and then later we will open the test runner so i will go to the one folder where i want to install the cypress and simply you can do the cd command so here i'll open the command prompt and here i will enter the command so npm followed by install cypress space hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev so this command will install the cypress in your system so it will take couple of seconds to install the cypress so based on your internet connection so if your connect if your internet connection is faster it will install the cypress in your system very faster otherwise it will take little time so meanwhile let's go back to the document so it will take a couple of seconds to install the Cypress. Basically, it will it is going to create the one folder called called node underscore models, and also it is going to create the. So if you look at here, so it is created the node underscore models folder, and also it will it is going to create the another two JSON files. One is package JSON file, and another one is package hyphen log JSON file. And if you look at here. So it has created the node underscore models folder and also it is created the package and package hyphen log json file so inside the package json file you can specify the packages now we have installed the cypress and let's open the test runner by using the npm run cypress colon open so directly you cannot use this particular command before that you need to add the one property in the package json file so if I enter this particular command, I will get the error. So let me enter this particular command npm run cypress colon open. And it will throw the error missing script. So we need to add this particular property inside the package JSON file. So let's add the this particular property. So I will open this package JSON file in the notepad plus plus. So simply copy this particular JSON object and paste it. So you need to specify the name of this JSON object as scripts. And here you need to add the property as Cypress colon open. And in the similar way, you need to add the respective value as Cypress space open. So that's it. So once you added Cypress colon open, and Cypress open as a value, simply close the package JSON file. Now let's run the same command now. So this will open the test runner. So now it is invoking the npm run Cypress colon open command. So previously it was throwing the error missing property as Cypress colon open. So now it is trying to open the Cypress test runner so right now in the taskbar we don't have the cypress test runner so it will take some time so if you see here so here we have to select so based on your demand or based on the your need you can select a component testing or end to end testing so we are going to select the etv testing So this particular window got stuck. So let's wait for a few seconds. Yeah, after selecting the E2E, so here you need to select the second option that is Cypress slash support E2E, E2E dot JS. Simply select this second option and click on continue. So previously we had only node, node underscore models folder package and package hyphen 
log json file so when you selected this particular option that's e2e -E testing so it, it has created a cypress folder and as well as the cypress configuration file now let's go to the test runner so here you need to select the browser where you want to execute the your test cases so in my case i am going to select the edge and click on the start e2e testing in edge so if you look at here so it has opened the edge browser where you will be seeing all your js files if you have already created it so in our case so as i mentioned in this uh, agenda so firstly we have seen how to set up the cypress in your local machine and i have already mentioned scaffold examples so scaffold examples are nothing but there are several examples which is provided by the cypress you can go through all the code and understand how the comments are written or how the comments are using for using to perform the actions on the web page so let's go to the our browser now so this is a test runner basically and here we are going to select the scaffold example specs next time we are going to create the new spec file but this time we are selecting the scaffold example specs select this particular option and if you see here it has lots of js files javascript files let's click on the ok i got it and after that so simply you can click on the any of the file so if i click on to do so simply it will start executing all the tests which are there inside that to do dot cy dot js file so your tests are your tests are loading so that means it is going to load all the tests which are there inside the to do dot cy dot js file so let's wait for a couple of seconds and already it is started the execution so this is where you can see all the js files on the left side and on the right side you will be seeing the browser so it is executing each and every step on the right side you will be seeing the execution as well so simply click on this specs so this will list down it will list down all the js files that is nothing but your automation test for example if i want to execute actions simply click on this actions so it is started executing the actions javascript file which has the a number of tests and and if you see on the right side so this is a web browser it is performing all the actions right and also you can click on the any of the test and it will list down all the steps what are the steps it is it is getting executed and if i click on the let's say clear so it is before it is launching this particular url and in, in between it is performing all these actions then finally it is going to execute next test so before it is not going to close the web browser guys so it is going to execute in the same browser all the test so this particular js file has the n number of test and it is getting executed one by one all the test cases and if you see here you can see the check mark so that is nothing but all these tests are executed just now so when you click on the .js file so these are the sim simple examples guys so you can go ahead and explore all these examples and let's go to the vs code and we will open this particular folder in the vs code and let's explore what are the commands they have written and uh, what are the folder structure of the cypress 